Welcome to this training video from the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet. This video is going to cover laying out the pachometer grid for testing bridge deck reinforcement cover, Kentucky Method 64-313-17. For this video, we're going to be looking specifically at step 3 of this procedure. What step 3 is telling us here is we're trying to take and lay out a grid system with points that are on 10 foot centers longitudinally and 5 foot centers laterally. And this needs to be centered on the bridge deck. We're going to do some examples on how to do this. And then once we get that calculated, we spray paint uh, the marks on. Skewed bridges are a little bit different. Stick around to the end for that. And the overall length and width of the bridge shall be determined from the plan dimensions from the layout sheet in your plans. Alright, now that we are familiar with the Kentucky method, let's look at an example to calculate the offsets from the edge of the bridge, length and width. Remember, the grid is 10 foot longitudinally along the length of the bridge and 5 foot laterally across the width of the bridge. The bridge in this example is 47 foot 6 inches long and 32 feet wide. To get the dimensions that we need to look at, uh, we need to look at the layout sheet that is in your plans. Once you have the layout sheet, you can actually get look at the typical section and you can get the width of your bridge. The width of our bridge here is 32 foot, length, uh, 32 foot wide, out to out. Now if you have a barrier wall, it's going to be a different dimension. We're not going to be using the out to out dimension. We're going to be looking at inside barrier wall to inside barrier wall. Here's an example of a typical section with a single slope barrier wall system. You can see the out to out dimension here. But that is not what we're using. We will have to calculate the two 12 foot lane widths, which shows us inside barrier wall or inside barrier wall or inside gutter to gutter width. So in this instance, it would be 24 feet. 12 plus 12 equals 24. If you have any questions about how to read bridge plans, refer back to our bridge plan reading video. For our bridge that is 32 foot wide with no barrier wall, to calculate the offset, we round the 32 down to the nearest fifth digit, so 32 rounded down is 30. The difference of those two is 2 foot, so our grid pattern is now 30 foot wide with 2 foot left over. To get the actual centered dimension, we take the 2 foot that is left over and divide it by 2 to center it. When you do 2 divided by 2, you get 1 foot off the outside edge of the bridge, or if we had a barrier wall, off the barrier wall. So that one foot or 12 inches is now the dimension of our offset from the edge of the bridge. Let's now move over to calculate the offset for the longitudinal grid lines. For our bridge that's 47 foot 6 inches. We get that from looking at the plan view. The plan view tells us our bridge is 47 foot 6 inches long out to out and 46 foot long simple span. Some might have multiple pier spans and would give you the length of each beam but for our bridge and every bridge we use, we want to use the out-to-out -out dimension, which in this case is 47 foot 6 inches. Once we have that 47 foot 6 inch plan dimension, we can then go in and calculate what our bridge offset is. So now that we have our out-to-out -out length of our bridge, we're ready to calculate what the offset is from the armored edge or the outer edge of the bridge. So our bridge length is 47 foot 6 inches out to out, just like we did on the bridge width, we rounded down to the nearest uh, value of what our grid line is. For this instance, it's 10. So if we're looking in units of 10, we round down to 40. Once we round down to 40, we uh, subtract that from 47 and a half feet. With that, we get our uh, difference is seven and a half feet. And as the Kentucky method says, this needs to get centered on the bridge deck. So to be able to center that, we divide it by two. So seven and a half divided by two is equal to 3.75 feet or three foot nine inches from the armored edge. So now that we have our distance to the armored edge and our distance from the edge of the bridge, uh, we're ready to lay out our first point. So you go in, you measure off the edge of the bridge and off the armored edge at right angles and you get your first offset point of one foot and 3.75 feet. Now that we have our offsets, we can go into the field and start laying it out on the bridge deck. This usually takes two to three people to be able to get it laid out. Some of the tools you're going to need is a 100 foot or 300 foot long tape measure, a 
tape measure in of itself, as well as spray paint. A spray wand is very helpful. So the first thing you need to do is to lay your tape measure out for the length of the bridge. Uh, you don't have to do full length as we did here. You can just come off the edge, but you can just go ahead and use it for both laying out ends uh, if you lay it from end to end. So once it's laid out, you kind of just eyeball it. Here we knew it was going to be 12 inches off. We kind of eyeballed 12 inches off the edge of the bridge uh, to get it close. Uh, and coming back, we now measure exactly at 3 foot 9 inches off the armored edge. And we measure 12 inches off of the edge of the bridge. Once we get those laid out at right angles to one another, you can go in and spray paint your first dot at that location or grid line. Here you can see a zoom in of where we had that laid out at 12 inches and 3 foot 9 inches. So once you have it at that location, you move to the other end of the bridge. Uh, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come off the armored edge at uh, 3 foot 9 inches. And at that location, we're going to measure 12 inches off the edge of the bridge. And with that, we're going to lay out our corner grid for that end of the bridge. Now that we have the ends laid out, we can adjust the tape to start laying out the grid line at this edge of the bridge. My suggestion is, is to move the edge of your tape to your first point. That way, as you're going across and marking the locations, you mark right at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, so on versus the length of your bridge. Once you got that side done, let's repeat the process on the other side of the bridge. So you pull the tape measure full length, get set up, measure 3 foot 9, 1 inch, mark that end of the bridge, move to the other end of the bridge, do the same thing. Remember to stay safe while you're out there. It's best to do this with no traffic on the bridge before it is opened up, but regardless, it has to be done. So once we've got our ends marked, we can now move into laying out uh, the line on that side of the bridge. Remember, adjust your tape to lay out right on the first point, and then you can spray paint at 10, 20, 30, 40. This is also good because you're going to spray paint up your tape measure, and it's best to just spray in one location rather than several locations. You can see here why the wand is so helpful when using spray paint, because you save your back a lot of turmoil by being able to use the wand. Once you get this grid line done, we now need to lay out the ends of the bridge. This is for a non-skewed bridge. If you have a skewed bridge, this is a little different. Stick around till after we finish laying this bridge out, and I'll show you how to do that on a skewed bridge. So here we connect the tape measure from end point to end point. And remember, this grid line is every 5 feet. So you go in and make a mark at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and then all the way over at the 30 is your last point. Once you get that end of the bridge done, you move down to the other end of the bridge, and now you have all of your uh, end points laid out, and you're able to start uh, laying out the entire bridge deck. So that's the first way you do it. Just get all the edges laid out, and then you can come back and just stretch the tape from end point to end point and make a mark every 10 foot as we are doing here. You can do the same thing just going from the edge of the bridge to the other bridge and making a point every 5 foot. It doesn't matter which way you go as long as you get your grid pattern laid out. It's 10 foot along the edge of the bridge and 5 foot off the width of the bridge. This Kentucky method says use white spray paint. That way it's visible for when the testing is done, but then after the testing it fades and the public cannot see it. Let's shift gears and now look out how to lay it out on a skewed bridge. The difference here is we can't lay out from edge point to edge point. We have to get reference marks across the bridge. Best way to do this is set up on one corner, stretch your tape across a timeline, then once you know your edge offset, go in, lay in your 5, 10, 20, so on. I like making these as X's, that way they don't get confused with actual reading points. Once you get that done, move down to the other end, repeat the same process, stretch your tape from one corner at a right angle across, follow a timeline, put your dots every 5, 10, 15, and then mark them as X's, that way they do not get confused as reading. 
Now when you start laying out your bridge from end to end, you just lay out your tape on the X's or your reference marks, and then you can make your uh, grid locations at every 10 foot from there. So here we are, we've got it laid out. It's right on one of our end X's. It's on an X on the other end. Uh, we can start, go back, and lay out the uh, grid locations based on 10, 50, 20, 30, 40, and 50, and so on, based on what the length of your bridge is. Here you can see we have a reading and an X. That X is good to make sure it's not a reading location, so don't confuse your liaison by having multiple dots on a bridge. Once you get that grid line laid out, you just repeat the process, just making sure that you lay out your tape on the X's, not any of the dots. This is because we need our lines to be perfectly five foot off from the other side. That is the difference in skewed bridges as compared to regular bridges. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this training video. Uh, check out the Division of Construction webpage with the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet for more training videos, whether on uh, structure inspection, grade and drain inspection, bridge plan reading, uh, how to test structural steel bolts, and so on. Check back more for more training videos.